This class we discuss about the application of Milman's theorem in an unbalanced star connected load. This is a simple network. This network consists of n sources and n impedances. The entire sources are converted into equivalent voltage source. These impedances are converted into is it equivalent. Once we calculate AB, we can easily calculate the current flow through the each branch. So that is the main advantage of Milman's theorem. This theorem applies only the source connected directly in parallel. One limitation is it does not apply where there are impedance between the sources. That is the limitation. So V equivalent is equal to Y1 into V1 plus Y2 into V2 plus Yn Vn divided by Y1 plus Y2 Vn in general form you can write sigma k is equal to 1 Tn yk into vk divided by sigma k is equal to n Tn yk yk is equal to 1 by zk where z is impedance y is admittance and we work out one problem this is the given problem this is 30 minus j20 this is 10, uh, 10 plus j20 this is 50 ohm the question is calculate the current i so we have to calculate VAB. Once we calculate VAB, we can easily calculate the current I. So VAB is equal to Y1 into V1 plus Y2 into V2 plus Y3 into V3. Here V1 is equal to 10, V2 is equal to 20, V3 is equal to 0. Y1 is equal to 1 by Z1, that is equal to 1 by 30 minus J20. Y2 is equal to 1 by 10 plus J20, Y3 is equal to 1 by 50 that is equal to 0.02. I can calculate VAB using this formula. VAB is equal to 4.63 plus J 13.58 volts. Apply Kirchhoff's current law 10 minus I into 30 minus J20 minus VAB is equal to 0. Now I can calculate I. I is equal to 0 0.41 angle. 102.1 degrees in amps or in polar form in rectangular form minus 0.085 plus j.396 so this way we calculate the current i i will see how this theorem is useful in unbalanced star connected world system now we apply Milman's theorem in a unbalanced star connected load this is the balanced three-phase source VAN, VBN, VCN this neutral is N, source neutral is N this load side unbalanced load ZA, ZB, ZC source neutral is S you have to calculate VSN voltage between two neutrals ok this is the phasor diagram this is VAN VBN, VCN. This is VAS, VBS, VCS. This is a source neutral. This is a load neutral. In a balanced system, VAN plus VBN plus VCN is equal to zero. What is the Milman theorem? VSN voltage between these two neutral is equal to YA into VAN plus YB into VBN plus YC into VCN divided by YA plus YB plus YC. Now I can calculate VAS. VAS is equal to VAN minus VSN. VBS is equal to VBN minus VSN. VCS is equal to VCN minus VSN. Now I can calculate IA, IB, IC. That is a line current. IA is equal to VAS by ZA. IB is equal to VBS by ZB. IC is equal to VCS by EZC. I will work out one problem. EZA is equal to 10 angle 30 degrees. EZB is equal to 20 angle 45 degrees. EZC is equal to 20 angle 60 degrees. Line to line voltage is 400. This voltage is 400 by root 3 is equal to VAN is equal to 231 angle 0 degrees. VBN is equal to 231 angle minus 120 degrees. 
VB, sorry, y, y, VB and VCN, this is VCN, VCN is equal to 231 angle 120 degrees. This is VCN, not a VBN, this is VCN is equal to 231 angle 120 degrees or 231 angle minus 240 degrees. Okay. According to Milman's theorem, we have already we know that VSN. We can how to calculate VSN. First we calculate YA plus YB plus YC. Add the admittance. That is equal to 0 0.147 minus J 0 0.129 more. Next we calculate the numerator part. That is YA into VAN is equal to 20 minus J 11.55. YB into VBN is equal to minus 11.156 minus J 2.989. YC into VCN is equal to 5.775 plus J 10. Now I can easily calculate VSN. VSN is equal to minus 5.381 plus J 5.279 divided by 0 0.147 minus J 1.29. That is equal to 38.54 angle 176.82 degrees in volts. Once I calculate VSN, I can easily calculate VAS, VBS, VCS. This is the formula. So VAS is equal to 269.49 angle minus 0.455 degrees. VBS is equal to 216.36 angle minus 110.85 degrees. VCS is equal to 212.37 angle. 111.26 degrees. So I can once I calculate VA, yes, VBS, VCS, I can calculate IA. IA is equal to VAS by EZA. That is equal to 26.95 angle minus 30.46 degrees in amps. IB is equal to VBS by EZB. That is equal to 10.818 angle minus 155.85 degrees in amps. IC is equal to VCS divided by EZC. IC is equal to 10.619 angle 51.26 degrees in amps. This way we have to calculate the line color IA, IB, IC. This is the application of Milman's theorem in an unbalanced star connected load. Thanks for listening.